Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Greedfall. Last episode, we finished exploring through Winshaganaw Wins and completed another quest for our companion Vasco. All is well there. Now, I'm going to continue onwards to Good San Friday. Mateus. No, what actually, you're not you? who I wanted to speak with. I need to be going. I wanted to use the travel. We're going to go all the way up to San Mateus, see what we find there. Quite a bit to travel, but we'll make our way there. And, you know, while we're here, let's swap out Kurt for Vasco. I don't know. I kind of like having him. Let's see what we find next. You have discovered San Mateus. And there's another road here that leads to nothing. Huh. Interesting. San Mateus, Wenshaganaw, Tear Daub. Oh, that leads to Tear Daub. Which we've already uncovered. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to loot that. Or that. Fine. How big is San Mateus? Eh, there's a fair bit to it. Got all these trees chopped down. You have discovered the east outpost. Oh, yeah! Uh, locations. San Mateus. The region of San Mateus lies to the west of Tier for D. Tulemé built its city in a cove to anchor ships, and as far as possible from the city of their enemies of the Bridge Alliance. East Outpost. This outpost built east of San Mateus serves to protect the city from possible attacks. And a small outpost it is. Will it be effective? Hell if I know. I have a feeling there's going to be a fight at some point in the future. Though it is nice that they have these. Oh, here's someone we can speak to. Greetings. What can I do for you? Talk about this outpost. Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? That is all. I was just asking, because it's what I do. Hold on, there's something over here. A campsite, right by the entrance. Okay, interesting choice. But hey, at least we have a campsite, if need be. Well, let's head further in. There's the buildings. What's this sign say? East Outpost San Mateus. Why are there only... Why are there four signposts if there's only two locations? Doesn't make much sense. really done a lot of chopping. Oop. Oop. I wonder if they are having problems with bandits as well. Oh, there's something over here, interestingly enough. find up here. San Mateus' woods. Okay, this is gonna be a fair bit to look at. Found the 
Oh boy. We got the turtle creatures. Okay, that dealt with those. There's something there. Old logging expedition. I mean, they've done a lot of logging around here, clearly. Oh, there it is. Walked right past it and I didn't even realize. Doesn't appear to be anything in here, so this is probably for a quest we'll come back to later on. Right, out we go. Oh wait, there's something else to look at over this way. Now just to the side here. There it is. Hidden little area. What have you got in here? Nothing in there. Up here? Maybe a hidden chest with some hidden loot? Maybe? Maybe? Nothing. Well, that was a load of disappointment. I find a lot of empty areas that are just there for the sake of being there. That, or there for quests that happen later on. Kind of annoying, truth be told. Oh well. Back to San Mateus. Well, the environs outside of the city proper, anyway. They actually have a moat. Impressive. Okay. Let's head back over and take a look at that area in the northeast. gonna kill you. I don't even know if I can. Uh, there is something up here. Like bandits. Let's get rid of these money bags. <laughs> That one. And you are dead. Nice try, bandits. We are more skilled than you. Muhaha. Felt vestments. Hmm. Old blackened rapier. Oh, we need agility too, but I like it. All right, fine. When is the next point I'm leveling up that? Uh, attributes. Next level. Okay. Next level, we'll go with uh, agility too. Hold on. Ah, this way. Got lost for a sec there. Does appear to be something here. Another campsite? Here. Hmm. 
takes care of all the campsites here in San Mateus. Is the campsite right outside of Bandit Hall? Curious place to hold a campsite. Sure, why not? Secluded Glade. Seems we can't actually go in here. Huh. Very interesting. It would be nice to get to level 16 so I can use this better rapier. Ooh, I would like it. Oh no, this is where we fought them. Don't turn yet. Is there something here? No, it's just a tree stump. Okay. Don't worry, fox. I'm not gonna hurt you. I like foxes. As anyone who knows me would know. Oh, do I see more bandits? No. Nope, yep, yeah, they are. Oh, those aren't bandits. Those are mep those are representatives of Well that one looks like a representative of the bridge. Okay, got them all. Are they bandits, or were they representatives of the Bridge Alliance? Not sure. Either would make sense, considering the Bridge Alliance's enemies with San Mateus. Or Tulane. Lockpicking level 2. I can solve that! Let's see. Swap out to the Sailor's Coat. And we pick the lock. Inquisitor's Gloves and Inquisitor's Boots. First, put that back on. Which are not as good, and oh god, those are white. And the boots. Lower elemental resistance, higher magical and poison resistance. No thank you. Ooh, although, I wonder, our companions here. Siora, maybe. You know what? It's lower elemental resistance, but it's higher everything else. Not the boots, though. So you can have the gloves, not the boots. The boots will probably sell. Okay. I think there's only one little area left that we can explore outside the town. Oop. There we go. I have a feeling there's not really going to be anything of note up here. Except more bandits! I still find it interesting that there's bandits so close here. Oh, still got another to deal with. Oh, this guy's got a lot of armor. And he's down. Okay. Why are there bandits literally right outside... Ooh, four-barreled pistol. Interesting. Why are there bandits literally right outside of these towns? That's what I don't really get. You'd think the guards would be able to handle them. 
Are they having that much of a huge problem? So what have we got in here? Priest's robe, priest's gloves, felt vestments. We've already got a priest's robe. We don't need another. Alright. I think we have enough time to get in. Hopefully we can find our house nearby. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Of course. Thank you. Unless we enter... Ah! <coughs> There's the Desardea residence. Right over here. My accommodation. Yes, I know all about it. I am happy to have it. Okay. Inventory. I will store this for now. But I will be using it later. Four-barreled pistol. Weaker than what I've got. Although... Ah! You can use it. The armor damage is lower, but the regular damage is higher. You know what, sure. No, I didn't want to put it in there. Ooh. Oh, but I don't think you can use that. Well, no matter. Right, inventory. I don't care about the felt vestments. Those gloves can all be sold. The boots can all be sold. Craftsman's pantaloons, really? Don't have anything there or there. Keeping all those. Alright, mainly a bunch of things that we can sell. But yes, uh... Bu 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 Vasco. Swap out to the four barreled. We'll sell the regulation. Okay. There are merchant nearby that we can sell things to. There's a crafting table. They are all places. Looks like south is where we're going to want to go. And the coin guard tavern and barracks is just to the north. All right, let's take a look at the barracks and the tavern. For this part of the episode. No, I didn't want... Put that away. Put that away. Barracks Street. Do we have anything for that? Oh, City of San Mateus. This city was built by Teleme a few years after the installation of the Alliance on this island. He was named in honor of San Mateus, the holy founder of the religious nation. Legend has it that he went out to sea and settled on a wonderful island he had discovered. Many historians think that it could be Tir Fredi, and many pilgrims come here hoping to walk in the footsteps of the holy man. Indeed. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Take a look in the barracks. Huh? Oh, it's a person. Okay, fair enough. And that probably just leads to the tavern. Anything to say? <coughs> Quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks. And you are? Desade, legate of the congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? Nothing at all. Master. Thank you. Just introducing myself. Well, 
We'll look around down here, even though there's probably not really anything of note. Okay, that just leads to back out. Is that just... like the main courtyard? Ah, uh, yes, this is a courtyard. Ah, da 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 da! Let's take a look upstairs. Because it's what I do. Nothing in here. Truly exploring these buildings that are all kind of the same is the height of entertaining, isn't it? Nothing else there? Okay. I guess maybe I should be talking a bit here. What can I say? Uh... I mean... I still say the game's not bad. There are some interesting things about it. It does some nice things, and the story isn't too bad so far. But there are still definitely weak points things that could be improved or could be better. The, uh... Well, for example, the... Locked. Okay. Uh, oh. Lockpicking needs to be level 2, which I can get, thank you. Locked. I don't have the key. Oh, wait. That's not what I'm supposed to be wearing. It's this. There we go. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, there are things that could be better about it. The an the uh, facial animations, for example, are kinda... Eh, really? There's nothing in here. The door was locked for nothing. But yeah, the facial animations could be better. I'm seeing a lot of repetition. I have seen that face in practically every building. Which is... just leaves me wondering what it is. Several of the buildings do look exactly the same, and are structured the same, and have virtually nothing inside of them. Case in point here. We're looking through this massive building, and there's nothing to loot, no one to talk to. When I do talk to people, they have nothing to say. Big areas that have nothing happening in them, or no indication that anything is going to happen in them. And we're in the coin tavern, apparently, already. It's probably the other side. I mean, the game's not bad. It's just... It could be better, you know? I think this... This particular kind of game would be called Double A. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as a Triple A. Halt! Oh. You have no authority to go any further. I'll leave you to your duties, soldier. That's right. Okay then. Noted. Oh wait, that's back in the direction that I can't. That I was told not to go. Okay, my apologies. Obviously, I'll come back there at some point in the future. And this way into the tavern. Look at that. We've got everything connected in the same ways. Watch, I go through this door, and just to the left will be... Yep, the arena. Which I'm not gonna go to yet. Try and level up a bit more. And here we're in the tavern. 
You have anything to say? Can I get you anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. Barely any interaction. Like I said, it's... The game is interesting, but it could have used a bit more to it. And we're back in the city of San Mateus. Well, we have more to look through around here, but I think maybe I'll leave that for the next episode. Because this one, it's gone on long enough, I suppose. There's still a few places to look. Next episode, we'll continue looking through San Mateo. See what we can find and do. Till then, I am Chester44. That is Desardes, Siora, and Kurt. This has been a Let's Play of Greedfall. And I shall see you all next time.